friend. Merry Christmas. Welcome. I'm Jen. I'm a part-time online clothing reseller. And what that means is I go to thrift stores or sometimes the bins, the Goodwill outlet, and I buy used clothes and I sell them online to hopefully make a profit. I have just come back, well, a couple days ago, from the Goodwill outlet and I spent, I bought 104 pounds and I spent $180 and I have about 90 items, give or take. I think it's like 94-ish, somewhere in there. So it's about $2 an item, which is pretty normal for me. My bins is $179 a pound, $1.79 a pound. And uh, yeah, so I, if you're unfamiliar, the bins is a outlet for Goodwill where you literally dig through these big giant bins of items and you pay by the pound. You have no idea what you're going to find. Sometimes there's some good stuff and sometimes there's not. I will give you a hint and uh, tell you that this is like okay stuff. None of it's like out of this world. It's okay. Uh, but that's all right with me. Uh, there's some good like $50, $60 items in here probably. The first item is this vintage stocking. It is like really chunky knit, really cute cream. I actually tried this on, I have like a little blanket ladder in my house and I tried to hang it there and it just didn't really, I don't know, it didn't really work for me. I wanted it to work for me, but it didn't. Um, I like to share average sale price and uh, sell through rate and vintage knit stockings have an average sell price of $22.26 and a sell through rate of 22%. Another Christmas item, I'm showing you all the Christmas stuff, probably not all, but I grabbed what I remembered I had. So I've already listed the Christmas items. I haven't listed anything else. This is beautiful. It is casual corner, it's lined, it's lamb's wool. And then check out these clasps on here. So pretty. I love just the detail on vintage stuff. So very Christmassy, wintry. Hopefully it'll sell. It's so pretty. Uh, in really good condition too. And then the last Christmas item. Is so cute. This is handmade. Uh, a little, I don't know, like hooded quilted jacket. It's so cute. Uh, like these little snowman heads on there. And then the lining has holly, or those are Christmas trees rather. Sorry, Christmas trees. It's so cute. I love it. <laughs> um, wish I had somebody little enough to put this on. I mean, no, I don't even think it would fit my son, but I don't think it's my son's style. I forgot to check those already. Okay, so I'm gonna do vintage uh lamb's wool christmas cardigan when i'm looking things up i have my computer here i am just on terra peak on my research tab in my ebay store and this is telling me that there is a 53 dollar 46 average sell price and an 18 percent sell through rate and then i have a handmade uh, quilted jacket for toddlers. I'm going to add toddler. Uh, I will tell you that there wasn't really much listed. Um, but it does say it has an $18 four cent average sale price and a 61% sell through rate. So that's pretty good. Um, this is also very cool. Vintage sweater. I find a lot of vintage sweaters. Yes. Oh, very nice. This is by the brand Tiara. It is beaded and embroidered and there's sequins on there. No, not sequins, but just really pretty oh, fall decoration. You may hang it on the big tree. Um, so just really pretty detail. Um, it doesn't feel very nice. It's rainy and cotton, which is pretty common for this brand in, um, in vintage stuff. So, Let's see, we've got a vintage cardigan. It was embroidered and beaded. So I'm gonna add those two things because I do think that those add value 
to the items. And let's see, right now it's a $31.08 average sale price and a 19% sell through rate. So not bad. Check that guy out. I'm a mess here. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> so this is just bamboo. Bamboo K. I'm not really familiar. I do think that this is a vintage shirt and a vintage brand. This is made out of modal. It's just a button up, but it does have, you know, some detailing here on the pocket. And then of course that incredible flag um, embroidery on the back. Uh, did I tell you it's modal? Is it modal or modal? I've heard people say it both ways. I don't really know or care. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Uh, let's see. Let's do vintage button up. I'm going to add modal because I do know that people like that. And then I'm going to add embroidered. I don't know if I can spell embroidered right now. And I do want to just add that that is a men's uh, because it would be different between men's and women's. And then filtered by used. And my average sale price is $28.17 and 23% sell through rate. Here is another vintage sweater. Holy smokes. Just the detail on that is so pretty. This has like a, I don't know, it feels almost like carpet. <laughs> it's not, it's acrylic. It does have wool in it. Um, I don't know how you would say that brand, but that's what the brand is. It's really pretty like green kind of color with the purple green and black, purple. This here is 3D. And then again, it has like these toggle things on there. Um, I don't know how many vintage sweaters we want to look up, but <laughs> uh, just how about I just do vintage uh, sweater and see what happens. <laughs> Just overall, vintage sweaters have a $32.49 average sale price and a 17% sell-through rate. There are 92,000 vintage sweaters that have been sold. And I'm filtered by the last 90 days. So this is another vintage sweater, Raywear. This one's really fun, cool. This is like, again, kind of 3D knit on there. I don't know if you can see that, like this part right here is raised. Oh, this one's really fun. I found it like right at the end. I will just say, I I don't, I'm not really gonna edit my video, so I'm sorry. This is, um, part of it is that I don't uh, like to edit very much. And part of it is, I just wanna show you what my reality is and what my life is like. And I get interrupted 800 times, so. Unless, yeah, my daughter just said, yeah, you do. Uh, so anyway, this is a corduroy jacket. All right, I'm going to leave. It does. Okay, thank you. Make sure you shut the door. This does have some, like, Western kind of things to it. And then, if you don't know, jacket labels are usually on the inside of the coat. Where is it? I knew it was in there. So this says Circle S, Dallas, Texas. It does have a made in China thing up here, which, you know, that's kind of a bummer. And it does have some like discoloration right along the collar. So I might try and soak this. I might not. I don't know. Um, if, if I don't soak it, I will just go ahead and, um, Man, I can't even think of what I was going to say. My nose started itching, of course. Um, <laughs> I might soak it. I might not. If I don't, I'll just close it. Okay. This is the tag. It says it's a 44R and it's 100% cotton. So it was Circle S Corduroy. Um, I'm going to say suit coat or suit. Yeah, suit coat. Sport coat, that's the word I was looking for. Sport coat. And I do wanna add Western to that because it does have that very Western style. Um, 
The average sale price is 35.67, sorry, and a sell through rate of 39%. I do round the percentages just to 1% just to make it easier because clearly I struggle with the numbers. Um, I've, I saw some that were like $60, I thought. There's one that sold for 83. That was a camel color. Most of them are right around in the 35. There's one that sold for 54 and one that sold for 80. But most of them are right around in the 30, 35 dollar mark. Here's a rainbow hat. It's like a woven, I don't know, sun hat. The brand is Island Planet. I'm not really sure how to search that. I forget what these are called when they're like woven like this. It's not straw because straw hat is something different. Um, okay, I'm just not going to search it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I try, but I can't. I just can't do all of them. All of the things. I like picking up um, and finding and buying uh, hats at the Goodwill outlet. This one is in really good condition. I always check there's usually nastiness right along in here. Uh, this is OG Sports Q3 technology. It is an extra small small, so it's more like a kid's size. There, um, I don't know what this is, but I will say that I have had some luck selling things that when I don't know what they are, uh, like hats like that. And when I go to like um, research it, I'm like, oh, that's kind of actually kind of good. It usually ends up being like minor league baseball. So, and for some reason, minor league baseball hats sell. Not really sure what the deal is with that. So this is Totes brand and it's just a tweed uh, bucket hat. So I'll search that one. Since I wimped out and didn't search the last two, tweed bucket hat. Spell the bucket right. $16.73 and a 4% sell through rate. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't my best, my best choice here. I did find a swimsuit and it is like. Okay, I'm just going to throw this away, but this was like the liner. It's new. So. Oh, I thought this was two pieces. It is not. Uh, I don't know about that now. Okay, so this is uh, apparently a one-piece swimming suit with no back. Uh, it is the brand Abercrombie & Fitch, which has been selling for me. It's new with tags. The items... So $54 was the new price on it. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind a Cafe Mio. Your card? Uh, it's in my wallet. Okay. Here's your wallet. In my basket. Okay. Okay. This is another swimsuit. This is just a tankini top. Pretty bright floral. This is Land's End, which is something that sells for me. Things like swimming suits, bras, hats, um, things that are lighter weight, I really like finding. Kids clothes, <laughs> I like finding because it just takes down my average cost of goods. Um, these are little Oshkosh short alls with mm, stars on them. Pretty cute. Oh, I forgot to do the Land's End. I'm gonna do this. A million times, sorry. Lands and tankini top. And I'm going to add plus size because that was a plus size um, top. And we have a $19.74 average sale price and a 14% sell through rate. It is December. So I know, I believe that there are no seasons on eBay. However, Swimsuits sell much, I sell more swimsuits in May than I do in December. So like exponentially more. So now I have Oshkosh Shortalls, 
just overall I'll, I'll do baby and toddler clothing add that because uh, believe it or not there's Oshkosh grown-up clothes I've actually sold some so this is a $30 71 cent average sale price and a 7% sell through rate again the shorts are not going to sell as much in the um in the winter however I will tell you that the first one on here if you find vintage uh short dolls if you find vintage Oshkosh comp it out because some of them are still selling for a really uh high price those um modern Oshkosh sell pretty consistently for me for about $15 so you know I paid what about a dollar for that so that's pretty good for me this is another vintage sweater this is a short sleeve sweater and it has that like cutout detail the like open knit this is sweater project and it is made in the u.s which is one thing i try especially if it's something is pretty plain um that's something i try to do is to make sure that it's made in the u.s i'm gonna be done looking at vintage sweaters i hope you're okay with that i don't know which corner it is oh okay that's fine where's the phone my phone yeah. being used well it's usually there oh because i just do it from the other side when i'm doing my video i always feel like i'm gonna lose it if it's not well i'm also gonna open the garage you're gonna open the garage um can you just go out in the front because i want the garage to be shut okay this is tasso elba which is not something that i seek out However, this is a 3X, sorry, garage door noise. My, one of my teenagers is leaving. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> I should edit this stuff out. Really, I should. Anyway, this is a linen shirt and it has this pleating detail and then like this paisley uh, print on there. So, I really, really like uh, linen. Um, it sells really well for me in the spring and the summer. So I'm gonna do linen, button up, paisley, and I wanna add a plus size. Um, some people have said that I do too much detail in my uh my research here and maybe that's the case but i think that sometimes those details matter but we can do in a little experiment so linen button up paisley plus size has an average sale price of 1917 and a sell through rate of 11 percent if i just do linen button up yeah i mean that actually makes it better uh $24.77 for an average sale price and 15% sell through rate when I am looking up items I to shop I search on the eBay app and I am usually looking for about 25% I did comp a lot however there are things like these I did not comp so these are another pair of overalls but these are corduroy I recently sold two pair of Oshkosh corduroy overalls really quickly um, for right around $15. So Oshkosh, I will tell you, I found a ton of little overalls to this when I went. Oshkosh corduroy overalls. And it has a $21.72 average sell price and a 21% sell through rate. So not too bad. These are Jimboree, but again, corduroy overalls. And these have a little penguin guy on them. So let's see. Um, I'm going to take out Oshkosh and do Jimboree. So did I show you the Jimboree? tag I don't think I did this is uh some jimboree can be really really valuable and some is just not uh, but so jimboree corduroy overalls have a $11.30 average sale price and a 19% sell-through rate so not quite as good as the 
um, as the Oshkosh ones. Oh, see, these have like dirt on them. <laughs> I'm going to need to take care of that. These are Nike and they're actually Nike golf. So these are just Nike golf shorts. Um, I don't know. There's something about Nike golf that seems to do better than just like overall Nike golf. Um, I'm not, I don't know for sure about that. I'm not great at like, um, athletic wear. So the average sale price is $21 and 54 cents and the sell through rate is 22%. Not terrible. All right. This is stitch fix. I have sold a couple stitch fix items that I don't know. They sold not for like a lot of money, maybe around 20. Uh, they were just like tops, but this is like a little dress, like just, uh, I don't know. Is it above the knee? Yeah. Like a little knee length dress. Actually it might fit me. Um, <laughs> it is called, is it nine Britain? Looks like mime. Mime Britain is the brand new with tags it has the stitch fix tag still on it. So I will add the, um, the, you know, nine Britain, but I'll also add stitch fix when I, um, when I list it. So nine Britain stitch. $20.88 for an average sale price and $10 sell through rate. A couple or 10% sell through rate, sorry. A couple in the 20, 25, 30, 15. One sold for 45. Uh, that was a maxi dress. So this is a uh, the sack, it's the brand. And it's just like a little woven purse. This one's kind of cream. Any the sack purse that I've ever bought has sold rather quickly. So this was just kind of like, yep, I'll take it. It's small and looks like it's in good condition. I always check the bottoms. Um, they can be pretty destroyed sometimes. Um, I also have, I have one sitting in here somewhere that has um, like, corro it's like corrosion on the, like on the zipper pull. So the sack woven purse of course you know like size and color are going to come into play here um but i think overall it has a 16 dollar 56 cent average sale price and an eight percent sell through rate i don't know that feels kind of low to me but like i said i i every single one that i've ever bought has um has sold the first time I ever got them, a, a lady from our church who was a friend uh, ended up giving me a bunch of stuff. It was great. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry about that. I don't know what this brand is. It just says small, but I got it because it has like rainbow uh, ice cream cones on it. It's like a little novelty print uh, button up. I don't know how do we how do we look that up <laughs> um ice cream rainbow button up <laughs> there's no way there's gonna be okay believe it or not one sold for 17 1750 14 19 <laughs> There's like, oh, those aren't sold. Sorry, those are, there's nothing sold. Those are active. So that's what they're listed for. 0% sell through rate. That's not ideal. Sometimes I don't make the best choices. This is L.L. Bean. This is a striped long sleeve polo. I think that's women's, don't you think? Looks like women's to me. So L.L. Bean is just I, a brand that I think uh, sells well for me personally. 
Uh, it seems like a quality brand that people know. Uh, woman, polo, maybe I should add long sleeve. $17.06 for an average sale price, but, but 79% sell through rate. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Um, these were cool. These are just shorts, but check out that like tropical print. They are a linen brand. They're just Jones, New York, which is actually, you know, kind of a more expensive brand. Uh, I mean, it's not like a Walmart brand or anything, but I can't imagine that those are going to sell for more than like $15. And I don't want to look it up right now. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, just because I don't think that... Um, yeah, this is a brand that is like, it's one of those brands that I've heard before and it's like either a yes, absolutely always get it or no, never get it, but it's another linen button up. So we've already done linen button ups. Um, regardless, even if it wasn't a brand that I knew I was going to buy a linen button up. Oh, see, I missed a Christmas one. I'm going to have to get it. Take in care of quickly. Look how fun that is. That Christmas tree. So this is like a button up jacket or a zip up jacket. It's hundred percent wool. It says Jenna. That's the brand. It's very fuzzy. It's got stuff all over it. But then these are like beaded dots. Pretty cool. But she definitely needs to get listed ASAP. And these are Cabela's and these are flannel lined, like a kind of mom jean style. And yeah, these are women. So let's do, <laughs> shoot, my, uh, there's some personal information about me. I uh, have herniated disc in my neck, uh, two of them actually. And it doesn't have like my neck doesn't hurt but I have nerve damage and pain in my hands and um and arms and my hands cramp kind of randomly which makes life interesting sometimes but we're getting through I'm doing a lot better actually I've had some therapies that are helping me Cabela's women's jeans flannel lined I could, probably could add mom, but $16.22 uh, for the average sale price and sell through rate is 31%. Not bad. Those definitely, you know, are heavier. So any, oh my word, like the second time I ever went to the bins, all, like all I bought were jeans. It was ridiculous. Now I'm like, jeans are heavy. <laughs> like, I can't be buying those. So these are 5.11s, which I did comp in the store because all Levi's I comp now, but these are like a skinny and they're distressed, obviously. So Levi's 5.11. I remember all the Levi's I found weren't high value, um, but the sell-through rate was pretty good as far as like checking on my phone. I really wanted them to be more than 25%. This is 26. So in an average sale price of $22.90. So, you know, probably $20 plus shipping. This had quite a bit of like staining and flaws, but I could not leave it. And it's heavy too. Like, oh my word. Okay, check this out. That is so fantastic. It's, I'm pretty sure it's handmade. Uh, it has this big, cozy, like, hood on it. Lots and lots of cable knit. Um, but there's definitely, like, ribbed cuffs. But there's, you know, there's definitely, like, some staining on it, some flaws. I went back and forth over it. But at the end of the day, oh, it has pockets even. Like, somebody worked really hard to make this. Yeah, see, there's a big hole. <laughs> a big hole right there. Somebody worked really hard to make this and I could not send it to the landfill. It is really cool. 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, sometimes I find little tote bags like this. Uh, this is Piccolino's. Just says, life is a long, life is a long trip, get comfy, Piccolino's. And I have a pair of Piccolino's shoes back here to uh, sell. So I thought, I have sold like a Kate Spade tote bag kind of similar to this. And there was something else like it maybe a year ago that I don't remember what it was. So I'll look it up. Actually, I can look it up now um, and see if it's worth anything. If it's not, I will just use it when I sell the Piccolinos that I have for sale. Okay, if I just look at the top like line here, it says the average sell price is $30.51 and a 20% sell-through rate. However, there's only one sold and it's like this faux leather, like it's a purse. <laughs> so probably that'll just get put with my other, uh, with the shoes. So these are Talbot's Flawless five pocket and they're straight they're 18s and they are corduroy black corduroy so let's see tell it's corduroy pants have a 17 dollar four cent sell um average sell price but the sell through rate is 43 percent I'm sorry, 46%. That's good. I am seeing a stain on this. That's kind of a bummer. Right down here. Where'd it go? I don't know. I saw it. Anyway, vintage sweater. <laughs> Pretty kind of funky. This one is Tuscan, made in Italy. I don't think it had... Yeah, it's just cotton and acrylic, but still pretty cool. This is new. This is Izod, which is not a brand I would normally pick up, but a couple things. One, it's new with tags. Uh, two, it's a skirt, like it looks like a skirt, and then it has shorts underneath. It is like this performance material. Um, you know, like you would wear for sports and then it's a houndstooth print. So, you know, I'll use golf and tennis. Uh, I'm not really great with, um, sorry, there's like stuff going on outside my garage. I'm like, what is happening? Izod Scort. $11.86 and a 4% sell-through rate. However, wrong season. So it does matter, I promise. These are J. Jill and they're a Ponty Knit pant. And they have like this little, I don't know, print in it. It's kind of a diamond with like a dot in the middle. Very like stretchy. So, you know, something you could wear nice but it's gonna feel really comfortable j jill is one of my favorite uh kind of career wear brands to sell ponty pants is what i'm going to uh search here and that has an 18 dollar 48 cent average sale price and a sell through rate of 30 percent. that's pretty good oh this is something that's like it's gonna be either really good or not <laughs> or really bad um I, papillion papillon I'm not sure uh this is a dress so let me show you first it has little buttons it's kind of tiered has a little ruffle it's just a little short dress I can't remember if it was uh it's a linen blend so it's 70 30 cotton and linen uh it does still have like this little tag on it. So it's in excellent condition, probably has not ever been worn. Um, but I, I feel like that brand, is that like an anthropology brand? Hold on. Uh, the RN is 57716. I don't know what that is. Uh, 
I know that's not the anthropology. I don't remember what the anthropology RN number is off the top of my head, but uh, it's like a six. It starts with a six. Um, the undress linen blend. Again, linen's gonna sell better in the spring and summer. Um, it says nothing is sold, but I know I'm gonna take off linen blend because I know when I searched it yesterday or whenever I was at the bins, there were a couple. Yeah, here I'll share. I'll share with you here. Um, man, what am I looking at? I think I'm looking in the wrong place. Okay. Uh, average sale price is $26 and 73 cents and sell through rate is 7%. That's not great. However, when I was looking like, here's one, that's not the same brand. Sometimes when I'm out looking and I, and it's different when I come back, there were a couple solds that were over or I felt like there were a couple that were like a hundred dollars. But um, apparently I'm completely out of my mind. Maybe that wasn't it. I don't know. Uh, this is Hagar, which is not why I bought it. This is, I do believe vintage, but a corduroy button up with plaid. Uh, so if I search, Vintage, <laughs> button up, corduroy, plaid. Uh, that one comped pretty well. $25.46 and a 23% sell-through rate. Not too shabby. What's this? Did I put that? I did. Okay. This, oh yeah. This is just like a plain t t uh, sweatshirt. What's that word? But it has carrots embroidered into it, kind of monochromatic. Uh, this does have quite a bit of wear on it. Here's the Harrods tag. Um, this one I did comp because I was like, I don't know what that is. I, I feel like there used to be like a department store named Harrods. I don't know. Sweatshirt. Uh, twenty-five or $24.85 is the average sale price and 29% sell-through rate. This is Life Sport. I didn't look this up either. But this is a vintage jean jacket with some really cool, like, where'd we go? Where'd we go? There we go. Uh, like floral embroidery all across the back. Pretty fun. I don't know. Is that a Christmas song? Can I have one as well? Yeah, come get it. You're going to put Christmas on? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, so if I do vintage. See, the thing with vintage stuff, jean jacket, embroidered, like, some of it can be heavily embroidered, some of it can just have a little bit. I'm going to search through women's because that, I think, will matter. Twenty-eight sixteen is the average sale price. 6% sell through rate. That's not great. $25, 35, 25. They kind of look similar. The ones that have sold 25. Yeah. I don't know. I don't always make the best choices. This is, here's my caveat. This is not me saying, this is what you should do. This is me saying, this is what I've done. <laughs> Thank you for, that doesn't smell very good. This is Tommy Bahama which is a grown-up brand that I like to sell. I found this little dress. I thought she was cute. Apparently I came home with some something. <laughs> uh, this little ruffle here, the little hearts, these gold glitter. I thought it would be good for like Valentine's Day coming up. I used to, when I just had like one kid, I themed her for every holiday. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, so Tommy, Bahama. I'm just going to do toddler dress. No sold results. So, you know. I do have a, um, like, kids consignment sale that if the children's stuff doesn't sell or I decide not to list it because it's not worth it, then I can sell it in that for, you know, $5 or something. And... It won't be that big of a deal. 
This, I think, was for my kiddo. Oh, this I bought for my sister. But it does have a big old stain on it, so I'm hoping that the stain will come out. But my sister's kids, my nieces, and my nephew are all in show choir. So this is, this is my circus. These are my show kids. I just thought my sister would love that. So, we'll see. This is a ginormous duffel bag. Do you recognize the print? I will tell you, I uh, did not comp this. Should have. Most definitely should have. Trying to find the lid or the tag. Here we go. This is Vera Bradley and made in the USA. We like to see that. So, um, Vera Bradley duffel bag. And I'm going to do USA. Has a $32.39 average sale price and a sell through rate of 33%. Yeah, that's good. These are Lane Bryant. Another one that I'd like to sell. These are new with tags and these are just jean shorts. Lane Bryant jean shorts probably are not gonna have a high sell through right now. Um, I did like that they were new with tags. I did find another pair that were a different size but similar. Uh, that did not have the tag. So right now we're at a $16.09 average sale price and an 8% sell through rate, 9% sell through rate. It's right at 8.5. Um, with the, I imagine that there's not very many listed in that size. So I will probably be able to um, just price them a little higher. Here, those are the same. Jean shorts, I'll just like cut off jean shorts different size these are 30s 30 32 so they were together in like a bin right at the end which I love <laughs> when I like find things at the end um these are 529 curvy boot jeans and I was gonna try these on <laughs> uh, but I am also going to look them up Levi, what did I say, 529, curvy boot jeans. These have a $15.63 average sell price and a 32% sell-through rate. So the sell-through rate's good. This I looked up. These were kind of interesting to me. Can you hear them? <laughs> They're like nylon pants. Uh, this is it here. They look in really good condition. The um, brand is a Blower, but that right there is what caught my attention, Gore-Tex. I know that that is something that um, people look for. It is a waterproof material. So these look like probably, you know, for a police officer, a mail carrier. This, I think, is a reflective strip. They're navy, which makes me think mail carrier, but also a police officer. So what did I say that was Blower? BL B L A U E R pants and then Gore-Tex. Um, I have heard that people can get uh, Vero, which I don't really know what Vero stands for other than it's things that you're not supposed to list <laughs> uh, for Gore-Tex, but I don't know. Um, $33.31 for the average sale price and 35% sell through rate. That's, that's what I like. This is a vintage skirt pleated midi length. This is, um, it's hundred percent wool. That's the brand Corette of California, but I just thought it was pretty. I will use Academia. I'm just, I might add tweed and yeah, it's not really tweed uh let's do vintage wool midi skirt I might add pleated just because I think that that that's something that people might be looking for specifically average sale price of 28.77 and a 21% sell-through rate not bad 
I don't remember. I don't think that I comped those and I definitely didn't comp these. These are Gatano. Man, I wanted Gatano jeans so bad when I was like in middle school. <laughs> um, but these are like a light wash with a stripe in it. Definitely. Oh, actually that's more of like a straight leg. I don't know. They're vintage. Are they made in the US? They're made in South Africa. Interesting. They're a size 14. That waist is like so little. I honestly was like, is it a 14 kids? I don't think it is. I think it's supposed to be women's size, but. Um, vintage Gatano jeans. I don't think I've ever seen anything made in South Africa. That's really interesting to me. Uh, that's, you know, not great. <laughs> I've had some vintage stuff that's like kind of a one-off sell really fast and for a lot of money and then some like just never sells. Uh, these have a $18.58 average sale price and a 5% sell-through rate. That's not great. Let's see, we've got some vintage mom jeans for 40, some jean shorts for 20. I'm not gonna be able to use my mouse if I put my, <laughs> it's cold out here. Um, if you don't know, I do all my stuff in my garage. That's the garage door, but it's winter, it's cool. This is a bra. I think this is the only bra I found. Um, I've never sold this brand before, but I mean, it's got lace, it's got like, beading and rhinestones on it. It's just got all the things. Um, in my experience, anything kind of like fancy, a lot of stuff like this is, is good. But this is Fredericks of Hollywood, which is, I don't, does it exist anymore? Okay, the gloves aren't gonna work. Yeah, Fredericks of Hollywood. It is a size extra large. What, how? Okay, just gonna leave that be. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, Fredericks of Hollywood bra. In general has a $15.96 average sell price and a 22% sell through rate. Not bad. Okay, so little running shorts that I find either in a bag sale or a um at the bins, I grab and I just don't put them in my cost of goods. I put them in a, I have a bin down here that uh, when I get a couple of the same size and the same brand, I list for like $25 for two of them. That has been fairly successful for me. Oh, my coffee's here. <laughs> oh, um, this however is not a brand, you got me a big one. Yeah, I got myself a big one too. <laughs> With my money? Yeah. Oh, of course. Get your money. I'll just leave it. Thank um, you. I might go on a walk with my friend. The friend that longboards. Can't say names because. The friend that longboards? Yes. Yeah. That's fine. Right. I have to text Do you have your him. phone? I have to text him and make sure he's free. That's a good plan. Yeah. And then <laughs> if he's not, I might just go on a walk and bring dad coffee. Okay. Um, so this brand is Hurley and that's not something that I've seen before, but how fun are these with this like color blocking? Um, I, I'm going to look these up and probably have to sell them on their own just because the likelihood of me finding Hurley, uh, running shorts again in that exact size, I feel like is going to not be great. At least not within a significant enough amount of time. However... I just did Hurley running shorts and the average sale price is $16.67. But you know, what did this cost me? Like a dollar? Sell through rate is 39%. That's good. All right, I'm getting to the end of this bin. All right, this is a purse. I actually found one like good purse, but I can't remember the brand of it. But the it was really badly damaged and it was sad. And I found it actually. My daughter found a really nice, like, um, what is the brand? Uh, Ralph Lauren. 
Uh, she found a really nice Ralph Lauren one. And actually, I'm seeing that this has some damage here on the end. Uh, purses are hard at the bins. Anyway, this is Betsy Johnson. I don't know. I might not be able to. I was like looking at the inside of it. The inside looks really nice. But yeah, these corners are just just worn. And honestly, it doesn't even look like it's worn from use. It looks like it's worn from storage. That's a bummer. Let's look up Betsy Johnson purses. So Betsy Johnson is known more for like crazy prints and like skulls and skeletons and stuff like that. Um, not, you know, something that's plain, <laughs> and at least from what I know, which is not a whole lot. Okay, it wasn't great anyway, so that's all right. $33.91 is the average sale price, 9% uh, sell-through rate. So I believe the purses that she is really known for are like shaped and beaded and like Halloween themed and yeah like here's one like a pumpkin shape uh this one has like Christmas cookies on it uh there's one that's a rainbow shape so if you find something like that but not you know a damaged plain one this is 511 tactical this is a brand that in the past has sold really well for me this is ripstop too. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. My light is right here. So it's probably washing everything out. Uh, but it's ripstop. So it looks like there's little squares within the fabric. Um, these are cargo pants. They have drawstrings at the bottom. These are in really good condition. I found another pair as well. So um, let's see. 511. It was really funny. I don't know. Maybe it's not funny. Interesting. That's probably a better word. Um, there was a YouTube channel that I was watching and they were kind of poo-pooing 511 Tactical. Like the sell-through rate. Like, oh, these are never going to sell, blah, blah, blah. And then there was a, then they were like raving about this other brand. And I like did a quick check and I was like, the sell-through rate is the same. <laughs> the sell price is different by like, I don't know, maybe $10. Anyway, the average sale price is $24.42, but the sell through rate is 54, or sorry, 34%, which is pretty good. Um, <laughs> this says spicy elf. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Me, sorry. <laughs> Just joked on my coffee. Maybe it's like a holiday themed coffee that they did. <laughs> anyway, 511 Tactical usually sells right around 25 for me. Okay, so now we're about halfway through. This is going to be like the longest video ever. I bought two pairs of uh, shoes and didn't look them up. That's like a really dumb idea. Because shoes, especially these, weigh a lot of money, weigh a lot of pounds. They weigh a lot, so they cost more. Okay, I put stuff, like little stuff, in the shoes. These are, oh my word, <laughs> my hand cramped again. Okay, these are Western boots, but they're a little like, I don't know, they're like a hybrid, right? They're like Western, but then also like kind of workwear, but Ariat is the brand. So Ariat boots. I'm just gonna do Ariat boots overall. Have a $6, no, $60.95 average sale price and a 44% sell through rate. That is good. I will take that. Okay, so then I got some chain belts that have chained themselves together. I just put them together in this boot. Here we go. So this one just says EB51 on the back. Some of them are, you know, marked with whatever their brand is. This is not. 
Also, I'm gonna have to fix this end. I think it's gonna be an easy fix. And when I say I, I mean, I'm gonna ask my husband to do it for me. I could probably do it, but. Anyway, I just thought this was kind of cool. Uh, chain, I've had a couple chain belts in general and they sold really fast for me. So, and then this one I thought was kind of neat. It's a little more dainty, the oval circle, oval pattern. This one does not need fixed and it is just so it has like this little tag kind of thing hanging down. It just says Korea on it. So I imagine that's where it's uh, made. But there doesn't seem to be any other branding. I don't know if that's good or not. I'm just going to do chain belt. And I'm going to do women's accessories. And oh, wow. Uh, 5831 is the average sale price, and those are not going to sell for that. Uh, sell through rate is 13%. Um, yeah, what is making that sell price so high? Because the first, you know, like 10 or like $7, 17, 33. There's got to be something in here that's like a really high end brand that sold for like a million dollars, maybe not a million. Okay, there was one for 44, but everything else is under 20 on page one. So I don't know where they came up with the $58.31. All right, the other pair of shoes are like these work boots, but also Ariat, <laughs> which I thought was interesting. So there's the little thing. The two pairs of shoes that I found are Ariat. That's what they look like inside. These are more like a work boot, high top thing. And then inside this one is this woven belt. And this is leather. It says split leather right there. Uh, made in China, which is, but it's like a colorful rainbow kind of woven belt. It's in pretty decent condition. I would say that that's probably on the vintage side, but I probably won't say that it is for sure because I don't know that for sure. Woven leather belt. Colorful? I don't know. <laughs> um, $24.51 is the average sale price and 30% is the sell through rate. So I did have one more thing in here and it's kind of good. So I told you we found like a high-end purse. And um, if you don't know, at the bins, people, oh, the Ariat boots actually say Ariat right here too. Um, at the bins, there are people that solely go around and look at bags and like flip them inside out and look at all the purses and or all the zipper pockets and stuff to see if they can find money. <laughs> um, so, and, I, and they must have some sort of success with that. I don't know if that's maybe solely what they do, but it does seem like every bag I find has been like completely like turned inside out. I found this one brand and I really can't remember what it was. Uh, and it was good. It like probably would have sold for about $60 had it been in decent condition, but it was not in decent condition at all. But I happened to notice that one of the zippers was zipped shut. And that's one thing that the people who unzip the zippers don't take the time to do is zip them back. And I found a piece of like Wrigley, like 90s Wrigley gum in one purse, which I thought was really funny. It was like, best thing I found, vintage gum. Um, in this purse, there was just like a bunch of receipts and stuff but then there was a pair of earrings and I'm not super great at like um logos and stuff but if you know that logo that's Tory Burch so these are like I mean they're little earrings but they're heavy they have some heft to them I haven't taken them off uh but when my daughter and I looked them up she was like oh mom that's good I think that they'll sell for around 35, 40 maybe. 
I don't know. I can't get them off. I, I need to look. There's got to be a way to look to see if they are like gold or not. I don't know. Even the backs are branded. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. See the back is branded. That's so cool. Anyway, just the little details like that, you know. Uh, the, this back definitely looks um, like tarnished a little bit. I don't know. I was just trying to, I wondered if, I don't know much about jewelry and like how to find out if it's worth money. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but let's see, Tory Birch is it T-O-R-Y? Or is it I? I think it's Tori with a Y. Earrings. Yeah. Um, have a $33.95 average sale price and sell through rate of 47%. That's pretty good. So hopefully I don't lose those because those are little. <laughs> Uh, another pair of Levi's. These are 512s. I thought it was funny because I found like 511s, 512s, and then at one point I found like 513s and 514s. Um, Levi's jeans, 512, uh, black because they are black jeans and that does make a difference. So those have a $21.82 average sale price and a 27% sell through rate. So I'm pleased with that. These are Lucky Brand and Lucky Brand jeans. I am gonna look up the style. Maybe I didn't, yeah I did. Cause there it says 221 original straight. So when I look up, I didn't, it seems like I bought a lot of jeans, doesn't it? Lucky brand jeans, 221 original. I can never spell original <laughs> straight. And these are men's, so. Uh, $20.03 is the average sale price, but 37% sell through rate. So definitely when I'm looking at the bins, I want the sell through rate to be, you know, 25% sell through or sell price around 20, 25, especially for a bigger item like that. This is a vintage sweater vest, it has a birdhouse and a sunflower and some leaves on it. I almost left it because I was thinking that it was fall. Um, but then I was like, some flowers are more spring. This does say hand embroidered on it. It is made in Hong Kong. I've already done vintage sweaters, so I'm just going to be done with that. Uh, let's see. These are Kenar. I don't know what this brand is, but these are linen pants, linen pull-on pants. And they do have... Not super wide leg, but probably like a straight leg. Uh, blue. This is just something that sells really well for me. In general, I like linen. I also wear a lot of linen, especially in the summer. So I, I feel like I'm drawn to it, you know. Linen, pants, pull on. $23.26 is the sell price and 13% uh, sell through rate. But again, that's going to be way higher in the spring and summer. This I didn't look up and I probably should have, but I feel like you wouldn't look it up either. I don't know. Maybe you would. Let me know. Would you have looked this up? This is Madewell and it is a velour top with like a balloon sleeve. Right? I mean, I feel like I need to get that listed before the holidays too. It's like a good, actually, what size is it? Should I wear it for like 
New Year's Eve. We don't ever do anything for New Year's Eve, so it doesn't really matter. Madewell. Velour top. What's the difference between velour and velvet? Maybe this was a big bummer, but uh, $16.06 and a 10% sell-through rate. I just know, like, I had a J. Jill top like that that I bought recently-ish that had a really good sell-through sell rate. It just seems like that style is kind of popular right now. Okay, this was weird when I looked it up. Like, there were a lot that were similar to this that we're selling for a lot of money I don't think this is gonna go for a lot of money but this is like a jersey but it says field of dreams which you know is the movie um it does look like it's vintage it's made in the U.S. Quitman USA um I don't know I just searched like field of dreams jersey And the average sell price is $114.71 with a 39% sell-through rate. I feel like that can't be right. So maybe I need to add like that Quitman USA on there. Okay, that, no, that's all just active. No solds. They're listed for 33 plus shipping and 49, 48 plus shipping. Maybe this was a bust, but who knows? <laughs> I felt like it was, it could have been amazing. Okay, this is Talbot's, and this is real basic, but it's a Pima Cotton t-shirt with a boat neck. Very basic. Maybe I'll keep it. Probably I won't. Okay, Talbot's t-shirt, Pima Cotton. Because Pima Cotton does matter. Alright, this has a nothing sold. Oh no, it doesn't. I hadn't I hadn't toggled back to sold. So $14.06 and as the average sale price and sell-through rate of 30%. So okay, that's good. This I bought without buying without. <laughs> looking it up but this is like a wicker kind of material i don't know what's that called straw purse and the brand is ls airs i still remember going to ls airs with my grandma oh actually this is what i found the gum in <laughs> anyway i have no idea Str vintage straw clutch That what that is I, I don't know $19 and 61 cents is an average sale price and 6% sell through rate so you know not great I'm not seeing anything super similar not in that like color scheme anyway so maybe the uniqueness of it will draw it out look how fun this little little guy this is like perfect for Easter this is a little vintage coat, sport coat. It is made in the USA, and I was like, oh, that's cool. It feels like linen. However, I did not find any, um, like, material fabric information on this. It is 3T, and it does say Winnie the Pooh, so it is Disney branded. I'm not really sure why that's Disney branded, but some little boy gonna look dapper in that for the for Easter I think they will um this is another vintage sweater this is double breasted cardigan this is Valerie Stevens and it is merino wool and yeah this green color I just sold something today that had that is like that green color so who knows? Oh my word, this. I should have listed this too. Okay. This is pink, Victoria's Secret. This is like a onesie thing. I'm laughing because the like butt flap. 
it has a butt flap. Uh, this is thermal. Um, let's see. Victoria's Secret. What would we call that? It's not, you can't use onesie. Uh, one piece thermal. I'm just going to do that. See what happens. Probably in sleepwear. 33.57 with a 19%, 20% sell through rate. It's 19.5. So one, like $15, $38, kind of all similar. So somewhere between 15 and $38. <laughs> I don't know. All right, more uh, Oshkosh overall shorts. I've already done those. Found a second pair. I found these together. I was real excited. Lots of overalls, seriously. Uh, these are linen pants. Um, I don't, In Search is the brand. I don't know what this is, but these are a size 40, which makes me think they're men's linen pants. Um, so let's see about men's linen pants. Men's linen pants. Just overall have an average sale price of $33.11 and a sell-through rate of 20%. So not bad. Linen, I it doesn't weigh very much and I it usually just sells for me, so I'm not too worried about I don't know. Uh I I'm I think that sell-through rate is important. I don't think it is the be all end all, right? Um there are things that I've sold that have like a no percent sell through rate or 4% sell through rate. And there are things that have a high percent sell through rate that I sit on for a year or more or haven't sold. So I think that it's important to know, but I think that there are also things that we need to look into like, um, you know, our experience with it, our, um, gut feeling. I think that that's important. I think that, um, you know, room for storage, that's important. I think cost of goods is important. It all plays into a part of it. That's really good coffee. Okay. This is Heirloom Collections. Again, vintage sweater. Cardigan, I sold one. Actually, I think by this brand, very similar to this, but uh, blue today. This is the exact same little linen feeling blazer from Disney Winnie the Pooh but this one's blue and the other one was tan and what else do we have here oh this was really cool I did not look this up and it probably isn't going to be great it's Ann Taylor is extra small which is not great but it is new with tags it doesn't have the original price tag on it but this is kind of a, it almost looks tweed, but it's not, but it's just a like very professional businessy business wear dress. So let's see if I look up Ann Taylor dress, I mean, that's super broad, but overall, Ann Taylor dresses have a $17.30 30 cent average sale price and a 12% sell through rate. So I knew going into it, I just have a really hard time with letting new with tags items go to the landfill. Also like cool vintage stuff. Oh, I have a kiddo coming. There's a wizard of Oz veggie tails! Do it. That sounds like fun. <laughs> this is... Hmm. Yep, I'll just let you read it. <laughs> this is a vintage uh, sweater vest. Pretty cool. Cable knit. I'm getting tired, can you tell? All right, so it is cotton and acrylic. So let's do vintage sweater vest because we haven't done that yet. Cable knit. Add cotton and men. I would say that's a men's. 
Uh, $25.91 is the average sale price and 26% sell through rate. Not bad. Here we go. This is, I don't know if this is vintage or not, but Fargo Shetland wool made in Myanmar. And I mean, that's Y2K style if I ever saw it. <laughs> my husband for sure wore this in college. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I will add Shetland wool. I will make sure I add Y2K. Oh, sometimes I don't know why I buy things. But tell me, if you're a reseller, you think this is going to sell? This, this, this Russ, there are no other tags in this. This is like corduroy, kind of, but also kind of like somebody made this out of drapes. It looks like it's handmade, but it's a romper. I mean, come on. It does have these really like fun buttons on there. They're kind of gold tone. They look like hammered. Yeah, there's like no sizing on it. Oh, it kind of looks like it fit me. I'm not wearing this. Don't worry. But <laughs> somebody's going to love that. That is just, just not quite my style, but someone's going to love that. I don't really know how to look that up. I will tell you that I have sold some really interesting rompers over the last two years. It just seems to be something that there's a market for. <laughs> I don't know. Um, sorry, my hand's cramping again. I don't need to complain. It's just part of who I am, part of my life. Okay, this is phenomenal. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a sweater. Yeah, I mean, check that out. It is lined with like faux Sherpa. It has these huge dolman sleeves. There's no tags in this at all. I went back and forth about buying it, but it's so cool. Uh, yeah, just the sleeves on it are incredible. I don't know. I wish there were tags on it somewhere. It just has nothing, not a thing, nothing. I don't think it's handmade. Maybe it is. It has the like little hanger thing on it, like in the collar, which makes me think it's not handmade, but who knows? Oh, this, seriously, the things you find in the bin. <laughs> this is a sweater dress. Check out that like ruffle. I mean, straight out of the 80s. And then in the back, it has this lace panel. Oh my goodness. This. It has a dry cleaning tag on it. But I'm gonna show you this tag because it's really cool looking. Just, I love the vintage stuff. That's fun. All right. Ambria, it is lamb's wool and angora. Made in Hong Kong. I mean, check that out. Isn't that cool? It has shoulder pads. Somebody's gonna love that. Another vintage sweater. Pretty cool. This one is acrylic, made in Hong Kong, the men's store. This is, oh, yeah, the Quacker Factory, <laughs> which can be uh, vintage. I don't think that this is, but the Quacker Factory is just a brand that I really enjoy selling, especially in larger sizes especially when it has like embroidery or like this one has some like rhinestones on there. Look at this, another pair of linen pants. These are Talbots. Um, wide leg, yeah, maybe more of a straight leg. Anyway, I like the vintage. I'm gonna go bring dad a coffee. Um, and Liam might come hang out with me. Okay. Everybody said that. It's gonna be all right. Bye. Bye. This is Torrid. And it is a open cardigan, open knit, like lace. It's really pretty. 
um, I'm really struggling here <laughs> with my hand. I want to finish this, so I'm going to power through, but please um, just ignore me as I like stretch out my hand here. Okay, this is, again, vintage sweater. This says, from the Quilty Needles of D. So somebody made this. That is really cool. That Fair Isle uh, neck there. Yeah, that's definitely handmade. Has a little bit of a balloon sleeve to it. Not, not much, but a little. Again, with the linen pants. These are Tahari, which is another brand that I almost only ever get if it's linen. This is a linen blend, but I just thought the print on this was really fun. And this is definitely a white leg. All right. I hope you'll forgive me, but I think I am going to stop um, looking stuff up uh, just so I can get through this faster. This is the brand Life is Good. That is a brand that sells really well for me right around $15. Um, I don't have anything left in that brand. Um, everything that I have has sold, I'm almost 100% sure of that. These, oh, I looked these up and this was pretty good. Helena High Rise Shorts, um, it, exclamation point it as the brand. These are just some jean shorts. Um, but if I remember correctly, the sell price was probably $25 and the sell through rate was pretty good, especially considering it's um, winter. This is another um, Vera Bradley. I did find one more that we did um, take a picture of and the sell through rate wasn't any good. This is um, made in the USA, Vera Bradley. I didn't look this one up. It was probably a mistake to do that. Um, but I do know that some of the like vintage Vera Bradley can do well because they stop making some of the, um, the, the patterns. Um, let's see. This is just Faded Glory, which is Walmart. Um, but it is a flannel that is fleece lined and quilt lined on the bottom, which just that style in general is pretty good. In the spirit of total disclosure and transparency, it's like two days later. <laughs> We're going to finish this. All right. We just have, I don't know, a small handful of things left. Hopefully we'll find some really good items in here. This is Torrid and this is a maxi dress. It is tiered and has this like lace detail at the bottom. I thought it was pretty. Um, Torrid maxi dresses have a average sale price of $21.77 and a sell through rate of 24%. So that's pretty good. All right, um, these are 511 Tactical, and I already did these. <laughs> so I found another pair, similar, but different. These are a little less like reinforced. The other ones had some like reinforcing on the bum and stuff. This is, I don't know. Oh, Lane Bryant, and it is this pretty burgundy turtleneck and it does have a little bit of like a texture to it not quite a waffle knit but similar to that so Lane Bryant turtleneck has a $13.98 sell through um average sale price and 20% sell through rate what is this? Oh goodness, I forgot. <laughs> so I found another um, Victoria's Secret thermal bodysuit. <laughs> I, I don't know. This one also has the thing on the bum. It says kiss me on the bum and give me sugar. It's Victoria's Secret pink. I, I don't, I don't. <laughs> It's also very sparkly. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it is glittery and sparkly. Super fun. 
this I think I bought for me. I don't even know if I'll wear that. <laughs> Maybe I didn't buy it for me. Why did I buy this? Oh, I know. It was new with tags. I was like, this doesn't look like me. And it's a size small when I wear small. Curations? Small? I think I bought it because the style was cute and it was new with tags. It's very oversized. Very oversized. And this is all embroidered. It has this like crochet lace detail. I don't know. Curations? There's no way that's a thing. Is that a thing? Curations top. Oh, I added a T to it. Mm, that can't be right. <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. This is going to be better. $19.78. Average sale price, 8% sell through rate. I'm killing it today. All right. Overalls. Do you know my feelings on overalls? I love overalls. This is, has a like cut off look to it. It is kind of like black acid wash. It's just Wild Fable, which is a Target brand, but it is 2XL. So I think just with the, it being an overall skirt and a 2XL, I feel like that might be good. <laughs> that could be wrong. Um, overall skirt plus size. I'm going to add denim. Has a $17.13 average sale price and a 10% sell through rate. Um, yeah, most sold in the $14 to $25 range. This is another swim top. Another swim top. Did I find a? I feel like I did have a, two swim tops in this. It's been a couple days, so I don't remember <laughs> what I showed you the first time. Here we go. This is also Land's End. I do think I found two today. This is a 10, 10 mast. Mast as a size 10 mast. I don't know what that means. Okay. Anyway, just a tankini top with a paisley print. It's cute. I'll go ahead and look it up because I don't remember if I looked it up the last time. Lands and tankini top. I'm going to add paisley. $17.86 is the average sell price and 9% sell through rate. Man, I'm killing it. <laughs> uh, not really. All right, this is another one of those hats that I don't know what it is, uh, but this is really cool, like a little, hat. it's like an embroidered, but it's a patch, so it's like sits on top of the hat. Oh, it does say Indians, so. This is um, Minor League Baseball, and actually it says Minor League Baseball right there. So I can look that up. <laughs> um, minor League M I L B baseball. It's Indianapolis. How to spell <laughs> Indians hat. Has an eleven dollar thirty two cent sell price and a three percent sell through rate. Yikes! I don't know. Okay, one more. This is Wilson's leather. Just the back. I'll show you the front. It does have this little lace up detail, so it's a little mini skirt. It is new with tags. The price tag is $99.99, but I'm pretty sure that this, I don't know, is this vintage? Maybe it's not. I don't know how to tell that out. Tell that out. I don't know how to tell that out. I don't know how to figure that out. On leather like this. Um, anyway, it is a plus size skirt, so, and new with tags, and it's leather. Hmm, leather mini skirt, that's what I'm going for. 
Just Leather Miniskirt overall has a $24.63 average sale price and 13% sell through rate. So I I was feeling kind of like meh about the, this haul anyway. And as I'm doing the comps and stuff, I'm feeling even more meh and kind of worse about it. So I was hopeful that I had, you know, a few kind of better items, better sell through rate. I'm hoping this is going to get me through right now. I'm only listing five items a day. And so just to kind of get me through the holidays and I'm trying to do a few things within my business that are going to take up a big chunk of time. And so I'm just kind of pulling the listings down a little bit. Um, I kind of average about 10 fluctuating between 15 and five, just depending on the season of time. So I was hopeful that this was going to get me through, you know, a couple weeks, a few weeks really of, uh, selling, but man, this is kind of brutal. <laughs> I, um, was hoping to not have to thrift until like the mid middle of January, but I might have to like, just try and go find some good stuff somewhere. We shall see. Well, that is my <laughs> Goodwill bins haul. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for being patient through all my interruptions and background noises. There's somebody's doing work outside today. So I really, really appreciate you. Make sure you leave a comment if you haven't. I love chatting in the comments. That's one of my favorite parts of this. And um, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. I do upload a video every day, Monday through Saturday at eight o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Usually it is a like ship with me video to share what I have been selling. So uh, if you subscribe, then you will hopefully see some of these things selling over the next week to month to year or two. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you so much. I'll see you soon.